Recently, I've been looking for an extra USB cable to run Samsung DeX on my computer. I got tired of unplugging from my Galaxy Note 10 charger, so I thought of getting an extra USB cable. Instead of getting the original Samsung cable, I found this AI case cable for only half the price. To my surprise, it does the job pretty well, and it's quite well built. I could not find any downside except one minor issue. Let's take a look at it now. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. Today we are going to take a look at this AI case USB Type-C cable with LED light. AI case claims this cable is capable of high speed charging and high speed data transfer rate. Compared to the original Samsung cable, this AI cable is only half the price at 10 Australian dollar. So I thought, why not give it a try? The design is very well made. Materials of the plugs are very high quality and the cable is soft but feels strong, like a rope. Only time will tell how durable the cable is. The cable comes with this cable organizer tie, which is the only bit I don't like. This velcro-like cable tie sticks to all types of microfiber materials, including its own cable. As a result, it's quite annoying to unwind the cord. It sticks to the pouch I used to keep the cable, and it even sticks to my mouse pad. Luckily, this cable tie is removable. I'll remove it after this video and show you a new trick how I organize my cable without this cable tie at the end of this video. This AI case cable model comes with an LED pulsating light. Initially, I thought the color would indicate the charging status, like red for charging, green for charging complete, and maybe blue for standby. But no, this light is just an aesthetic light that pulsates and changes colors randomly. Well, it does look pretty nice though. The light comes on whenever the power supply is on. Now on to the charging speed. The charging speed is as good as the original Samsung cable. The estimated duration to fully charge the phone is the same when I use the original Samsung cable and this AI case cable. That shows that the electric current throughput is the same with these two types of cables. Now just a quick disclaimer, if you don't want to risk damaging your device, you should always use original cable from the manufacturer. Any third-party cable may cause damage to your device, so use them at your own risk. I'm just sharing my usage experience of this AI case cable that I've bought. I can confirm that both charging and data transfer works well for my Huawei P9, Samsung S10e, Samsung Note 10, and Samsung Tab S6 tablet. Now speaking of data transfer, it works pretty well and efficient too. Whenever I plug in the phone to my computer using this AI case cable, Samsung text will always be automatically de detected and activated. So far, every time I plug it in, DEX will always activate automatically. It's even more consistent than my original Samsung USB cable that comes with the phone. The original cable sometimes does not kickstart Samsung DeX on my PC and I had to unplug and plug it in again, which can be sometimes quite annoying. The data transfer rate is pretty fast too. Using this AI case cable, I managed to transfer a 1GB file in approximately 38 seconds from my Galaxy Note 10 to my PC using the USB 3.0 port. This AI case cable works with battery packs too. I tested it with my Samsung S10e and my Galaxy Tab S6 tablet. They all charge pretty well from the battery pack. By the way, in case you are wondering if the pulsating light will make the cable plug hot, I can confirm, no, it doesn't make it hot. It charges efficiently, 
so not much charging energy is lost through heat. I've tried charging my phone and left it plugged in overnight. In the morning, the light is still pulsating and it's still very cool at the plug connecting point. Okay, now it's time to get rid of this annoying organizer cable tie. The design is quite simple. It's a two loop design with one mini loop to hold itself onto the cable and the external loop to tie the cables together. Now that the cable tie has been removed, I'll show you how I tie my cable neatly without damaging it. When winding the cable, we'll just leave the tail end of the cable and pass it through the center to wrap and tie itself like this. It holds pretty well. I use this method to tie almost all my cables without a cable tie. By the way, I'm a tech lover and I share my personal stories of my tech gear and tech carrying bags on this channel. If you like videos like this, please help me by subscribing to my channel. My channel has been growing progressively and thanks to those of you who have supported me and have subscribed to my channel. I'll leave you with this mesmerizing pulsating LED light so you know the sequence of the color lights. It's actually quite therapeutic. Enjoy! I'll see you in the next one.